Collecting the email addresses of visitors to your website is a very basic top of the funnel activity that can help you generate leads and potentially new customers or new sales. And I found two deals on AppSumo that can help you with this. The first helps you create pop-ups for your websites and the second helps you create engaging content to help demonstrate your software product. So this is a super easy way to add a pop-up to your website and it will help you by providing you with templates or you can use AI. So if we just click into the templates, you can search at the top, but scrolling down, you can see they've got a wide variety, some square, some rectangular, quite colorful, and they're all offering different uh, products, services, eBooks, things like that. So you can customize them to fit your particular need. You can also start from scratch or it does have an AI mode. Now, because it's using AI, you want to feed it some good information. So here, I've not just said I want to collect emails. I've said I want to do that via eBooks on how to create an amazing pop-up offer on a website. And when we hit create, it will use AI. And here we go. Uh, get exclusive access to our eBook and learn to create irresistible pop-ups for your website. Enter your email address, hit submit. So whether you're using AI or a predefined template, you will drop into this editor. And you can see it's a very simple to use editor, which doesn't take very long to get the hang of at all. Just click on the element you want to edit. So then down the side, you can change the text, the fonts, the font family, the color, all that kind of good stuff. And then there is global settings. And so we've got the overlay style where it is. So we can choose it to pop up in the corner, top, middle, bottom. Here we've got darken, we've got a blur, darken and blur. So you can experiment with all these. And the really nice thing about this is you can edit these later. So if you put it on your website and you don't think the style's quite working. So for example, one I tried popped up down here, but I have a an AI chat bubble down here and they were getting in the way of each other. So I came back in, clicked this button, saved it, and it was updated on my site to then show in the middle. Once you're done with all the editing, you've got the triggers. So you can have it after a certain amount of time. You can have it only during certain times. That's great if you want to offer maybe a discount or a Black Friday discount and why it will close. So it can automatically close after a certain time. And you can disable the escape to close pop-up, which I wouldn't do. I think that would be a bit annoying if I was a user. You then got some really interesting audience filtering options. So you've got visitor to type. So you don't necessarily want to show your pop-up to everyone. You might show it just to new visitors or you might show it to returning visitors. So they've come along, they've not bought something, they've left, they've come back. Then you show a pop-up offering a discount. You've got display on, uh, you've got uh, converting, closing, all this kind of good stuff. You can turn on geolocation and show it to only certain countries, browsers, traffic source, cookie targeting. There's loads of options. So to get this working on your website, if you've got a WordPress website, simply download the plugin and follow the instructions. Super easy to use. That's how I've done it. If you're using something other than WordPress, so click Sony, Wix, WebWave, something like that, you've got custom codes, which you can copy, pop it onto your website, verify the installation, and that's it done. Once it's on your site, as I say, you can come back here and edit it, and that will edit it for the site. You don't have to mess around with the code, which I think is brilliant. Now, one important thing to note is that this will not deliver a file. So if you're trying to use this for lead magnets or sending an email, and that's not what this does. This simply pops up on the site and engages the user. You will need to do something to follow up with that. So now you can have it set so when they enter their email address, the pop-up changes and then shows a code or um, maybe it says click here to go to a certain page. That's fine, but if you want something more complicated, you're going to need to integrate it. They've got a good range of integrations, and these are apparently new. And that includes just using something like Google Sheets. So if you use Google Sheets, you could maybe use Pably or Zapier or something like that to trigger something. You've got Slack, you've got webhooks. Ah, uh, oh, the Zapier's built in. Vbout, a brilliant previous AppSumo deal. So you've got lots of options there, MailChimp as well. And you'll need to integrate that if you want to do more complicated things, such as uh, deliver a lead magnet and then a follow-up email drip sequence. 
any leads that are captured can be accessed via this platform so you don't need to do an integration you could access them here hit download and then import them into your other system for follow-ups or whatever it is you want to do with them I think this is actually a really reasonable deal. For $49, you get to tier one, which has everything you need to get started and can be used on 10 websites, which I think is very generous, unlimited pop-ups and no branding, which I think is brilliant. So the difference between the tiers is the page views, the AI credits, and the number of websites. And started at tier three, you get unlimited websites. So if you're going to be using this across either a, a huge estate of your own websites or maybe if you're using this with client websites tier three is the one to go for it does go up to tier four and that just bumps up the page views and ai credits per month so you can really pump out these if you need to if you want to see the deal in full there's my affiliate link down below i'm staying in popper for the next deal because it directly relates to people who are SaaS owners or people who want to demonstrate how software works and it's called fable i'm going to click a little button which you can't quite see it's off screen i'm going to record a new demo and this is demo recording software to help you show how a tool is used this can be great if you want to uh, do a help article maybe you're doing a review on a tool or maybe you just want to demonstrate it to someone who is interested so that you've got a lead capture mechanism so i'm just going to go through i'm going to create a new pop-up we'll choose a template very quickly Pick this one, looks nice. We've uh, got the settings all sorted. Um, let's just click here, click here. And when you're done, you click the little Fable button again and we say finish. So this drops us in. I'm gonna save this as a new demo. So you can select different styles. So if you've got a particular color scheme for your website or your business, you can pick the style or if you just want it to look a certain way, so I'm going to go with blue. I like the blue one. And I'm going to have rounded. It's now going to take everything it's recorded and turn that into different slides effectively. So the user will move through the slides and they'll be given instructions on what's going on. And you can add feedback to these slides. So it makes it very interactive. It's a great way of providing customer support for maybe a complicated product that needs explaining and you don't necessarily want to have a video where people are constantly pausing. You can simply record yourself doing something and then go back, add the instructions and publish this on your website. So this process can take a few minutes. So this process can take a few minutes, but once it's done, you get dropped in. And don't be confused that it's put you back into the app. This is actually the demo. So we can see it's now gonna guide us through. So we've got to write the descriptions, but you can see what's going on here. As I'm clicking through, it's recorded what I've done. And we keep clicking next, next, next. So let's head straight to the edit demo so you can see this in action. Here we've got the different slides. Simply click on a slide and it'll open up. It's a very slick system. And so here is where you would write your description. And if you've got a higher tier, you can actually add a lead capture form at this point. You can upload images, you can add links, and you can select the text format. So you've got the branding, which has been preset, but you can tweak it. We've got call to actions. We've got the effects, zooming effects. We've got sizing and positioning, and we've got hotspots. This takes very little time to create. The actual bit that takes a while is then going through and making sure you've got a good description of what, you're, what feedback you're trying to give, what you want it to say to the users. So when you say publish, you can either share it via URL or you can embed it into a landing page. And that's really cool because if I just swap to the actual offer, it's very good value for money, a bit like Popper. Tier one, you only get one custom domain, so that's your own domain, but that doesn't stop you from embedding it on websites. So just because you've got one domain doesn't mean you can't then embed these across multiple different websites, which I think is really cool. But for the lowest tier, you get one domain and uh, there's no limits on embeds. But then when you go up, you get some extra features, which I've not been able to try out because I'm only on tier one, including multi-flow demo modules, blur and hide elements. And then you get the Zapier integration and then all the way up to tier three, unlimited creators, but you're locked to 10 domains and you can see you get everything else, but then you get host integration on-screen HTML customization. And it's at tier three 
you get the custom lead form. If you want to check out that full page, I'll put the affiliate link down below. It does include some dashboard stats, so you get an overview of sessions, visitors, but then it's a bit annoying because it does want you to upgrade to then see the full funnel drop off and things like that. I wish that had been included. I think that's a bit mean. The other thing to note is in the FAQs for AppSumo customers is, is Fable GDPR compliant? So I'm in the UK, so this is important to me. And as of today, they're not compliant, but it is in the pipeline. So make sure to check out their full FAQs. Links to both of these can be found below. It's really helpful if you click my affiliate links, it helps support me and the channel. I'd love to know what you think of these. You're planning on getting them. Are you thinking that they will replace something else? Have you seen better deals? Let me know down below.